Steps are being taken to preserve those signs of support that have gathered over time on that fence outside the King Supers in Boulder. A gunman killed 10 people there in March, and that fence really has become a solemn place for the community to reflect, mourn, and remember. CBS 4's Alan Janae live in Boulder tonight. And Alan, now the city's hoping this is a step forward in the healing process. A difficult one, Jim. You know, most of what's been placed here since the March 22nd shooting has now been removed tonight. Boulder has only begun to think about a permanent memorial, and that would likely involve input from the families and the community as well. But for now, this fence, which has borne the messages of support and comfort, is now being cleared. It is the work of gentle hands and hearts. You feel the weight when you're taking the things down. Volunteers like John Briggs felt the stories. It's hard to do, isn't it? It is, yeah. It, was, it came, kind of came in waves. Months after the March shooting, some of the emotion has faded slightly. The time has come for a transition. But this will go into the museum, and so it'll be there for those that come after us are going to stay here. Chelsea uh, Pennington Hahn, curator at the Museum of Boulder, is in charge of sorting through what people left. There are some things that are just, you know, too, just by the weather, unfortunately. But um, for the most part, yeah, we'll save it, we'll dry it, we'll, you know, clean it off. Many flowers were headed for composting. Some will be dried and saved for artists. Other items, like the crosses, will go to storage, then someday be part of the way Boulder explains what happened. It's not the only tragedy in our history, and so it's important that we know to remember those and to collect from those and to be able to tell those stories, both in, you know, in, in the short term and upcoming years, but also for generations to come. Just so precious. A lot of it is deeply personal. Everything you pick up like that, do you wonder? Yes. What people were thinking when they left these behind. The rain was like the sky shedding its own tears amid a hard job. It's been a hard day just for us working here. Collecting a history of heartbreak. It's pretty heavy, I could say. A permanent memorial is still likely a couple of years out. It'll take a long time to plan, and it's not clear where it will go. This fence will now be moved back, and there will be a larger, bolder, strong banner along the front of it as King Supers works on reopening. There will be only one formal tribute, and that'll be coming up in June. There will be a floral tribute between June 16th and 19th. King Supers will provide the flowers and invite people to take them in memory of the 10 killed here. In Boulder, I'm Alan Janae, covering Colorado First.